That's very good to see you. Uh, how are you doing? Very well. Very well. Good stuff. Um, congratulations on the, the film. Uh, and more particularly on your performance as well. Thank you very much. Um, thought it was cracking. And where I saw it a little while ago, it's really kind of grown on me the longer I've had to think about it. Oh, great. Because uh, of the different layers to it, uh, you know, the levels and things. What was it that, that kind of... How did you first get involved with it? Uh... You know, it's, there's always a sort of a, a, an instinctual reaction. You read a script, it's like, oh, that's crap. This one was, you know, something that really stood out. It was a, a tremendous f sort of part for me if I could ever, you know, ever get something like that come my way. So, uh, you know, when Steve, Steve Knight actually came to Florida, to, I was shooting another film with Taylor Hackford at the time. So, you know, when he come... Um, all that way and you know we spoke it was just like you know it's just an un unbelievable moment that I was going to get to do the film so I was I was really I was really happy that something like this was you know I was going to get a chance to to give it a go you know and that these this kind of sort of emotional content is not in the films I do I play a lot of the heroes that are just like no one can affect them they're just they're sort of one dimensional but they're just not affected by things and that's that's why they you know that sort of action genre is about playing things that these guys are too tough to be you know too tough to shed a tear too tough to be uh, you know affected by anything so this was an opposite way for me to go yeah but at the same time still give me something to do along the lines of you know uh, you know, a soldier, which I know that I can play. I've played that before. So it was something that wasn't, you know, completely out of the park in the, in terms of am I going to, you know, fall on my face. I knew I could play that particular character. It was like, could I could I get the layers that uh, that Steve wanted out of me? And, you know, that's to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the um, I, I think the reality of it was what really helped to sell it. Yeah. Was because, you know, like you were saying, it's familiar because of the soldier aspect. But the reality of it, I think, really kind of helps to draw people in because it's quite gritty and, you know, downbeat to a certain degree. Yeah, I mean, he is, he, you know, he's an everyman. He's hes not someone that is, uh, you know, it's too different. You know, he's uh, hes just a man who's who's been through a lot. He's a, he's a damaged, sensitive chap. And I think we're all a bit that way. Uh, as much as we like to think we're tough, when, you know, deep down, when, if you get inside people, they're, they're all a little bit sort of damaged. Um, but, you know, to the extreme of someone that would suffer, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder from, like, a soldier that's seeing, you know, their friends die in front of them and, you know, you know their mates lose an eye and they come back and try and put put someone to that extreme in, into society, it's like, that is, um, you know, that's a, it's a real difficult spot. So yeah. it's, a, it's a really great character. And how well did it read? Um, because the thing I liked about particularly the opening was there's, there's the dialogue's really minimal yeah so was the character all kind of laid out for you uh, did Stephen Knight kind of tell it because I'm always curious if there's minimal dialogue you know you're reading the script and going <laughs> yeah I mean it was so descriptive though it was uh, you, you know I'm always looking for something to say I mean you know you know some films I've done I say f you know four bloody words I mean it's it's silly uh, but um I think that was one of the interesting parts about what what Steve did was to you know to not have this guy uh, uh, be very vocal yeah. until he in, in, until later on in the movie. It was a conscious effort that uh, Steve had done. It was almost like trying to draw people in to to wonder what kind of a person he is. Yeah. So uh, I think that was the way he went. Yeah, and what kind of film it was going to be as well. Yeah. It's quite difficult to judge yeah. from the beginning where it's going to go. Um, and how was um, I was wondered like Agatha. Oh, <laughs> uh, Agatha Buzek, she's um, new and everything. Uh, does it often help when you've got someone who comes fresh? I mean, I, I wasn't aware of her work. Yeah. To then kind of, I don't know, get a bit more of a dynamic going. She's coming with no... No baggage, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm the one who brings the baggage. <laughs> she was <laughs> like, fuck it, I'm not doing it with him. <laughs> no, it was uh, It was really, it, yeah, it was, it's, you know... I, God knows why we don't know her work because she's so amazing. You know, yeah. it's like I just, she just hasn't had the exposure in in certain films that you know that we just get force fed to see. So, uh, what a tremendous thing it is to work with someone that you that you uh, that you just completely open with. Yeah, she was amazing. She, 
I never get to have that kind of a connection, so it's great. Yeah, it was really good. So there's one quick one about... Go ahead, go ahead. Is that right? So, yeah, sorry. Man. Um... Uh, I've got to ask because you just appeared at the end of I know everyone's going to ask but Fast 6 yeah um, do you know anything about your appearance in Fast 7 and uh, are we going to get to see you face off against The Rock and uh, <laughs> Vin Diesel it's very hard for me to answer that question because the studios are they're so secretive and these you know it's like I ain't going to get a script until I turn up for work I'm sure I mean they're, <laughs> they're very, very protective because it's you know it's a it's a big, big franchise. As soon as you get spoilers that come out on the internet, yeah, they go, you, you know, they wonder why they cast me in the first place if I'm going to say things, you know. Uh, so it's really tough to tell you what I'm going to be doing. Uh, but, you know, the only thing I can say is that I am in the movie, yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> Sorry for, uh, for the disappointment. No, 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 no. It's always difficult. It's just always one of those things you want to Yeah, it's the studios. It's, they're, it's, they're, it's, they're I know buggers, it's impossible you know? to say anything, yeah. but yeah. Um, cool. Okay, lovely to see you again. Cheers.